Okay, so I was updating packages just barely, and I was updating some of the AUR packages that I have installed, and there was one that made a kind of came to particular attention because I went outside, did a couple things, and came back in while stuff was downloading, compiling, and so on. And so what the glaring issue that I noticed was with Midori. Midori has cha changed hands back in 2019 so that the lead developers was this company. And the company decided to rebase Midori after a bit. Midori had always been known to me as this nice, lightweight, WebGTK-based web browser. But now, if we go and we just kind of do a casual, like, search uh, for Midori in the AUR, it's a web browser based on Flirt. Browser Fork of Florp, Fork of Firefox by Astian. So Astian Inc. is the now lead developer of Midori. Again, browser based on Florp. So I noticed Midori was taking forever to compile. And I was kind of confused because when I came back, there were some tests going on with Midori. And these are like different browser benchmark tests that it was doing after compiling the browser and whatnot. And I didn't really see as necessary, but anyway, I noticed that the interface looked a lot like Firefox, and I'm like, what the heck? And then I moused over some stuff while it st still had the test window up, and it's like, Firefox account? What? Sidebar Firefox? This looks just like, oh, Fire Dragon. And then I open another tab, homepage, it's like, it's just like Florp. And so if I go and pull down, say, the package build for Midori, um, we can see, where is it? Up here. So we've got the Midori desktop by GoAstian. And I, I'm kind of, it's really kind of depressing because it's like, I remember Midori being this really simple. It would take two minutes to compile if you compiled it from source package. And now it takes ages to get through the whole process because of what they've done with it. So I've basically gone through. And if we look back up here, oh, we should be able to see once we get to the top here. I have the binary package installed now from the AUR, which basically downloads the O oh, binary package from the source and then installs it that way. So it grabs the Debian pack. Why do you grab the Debian package? There's no need for that. They have an Arch Linux package that they package for it now. Anyway, <clears throat> they ought to change that up a little bit. But if I go in, I can go to Midori now. And it's very much Firefox now. It's like, what did you do to my Midori? So we go through, we skip import. Um, let's select advanced. And we'll go. And look, it, it's got all the Midori floral. Ew. Ew. Lepton, lepton photon. Lepton Proton Fix, Firefox Proton. Let's go with that one for now. So you've got the very same home page, except for the fact that it's Midori now. They they changed the icon to a different lizardy one. So if I open up, say, Fire Dragon. There's not much different going on. And they even use the unsplash for the background too. Just like, do I have Florp installed? I don't think I do. Nope. But yeah. So, every, like, 
and to Astian's credit, they do claim to be privacy focused. And currently our products and services do not collect personally PII from users. However, in the future, we may request data such as name, last name, email address, and phone number, provide a device sync service and send promotions and news. How we guarantee... And news related to Astin, our product services and new partnerships guarantee that we will never sell transfer this data to third parties without your explicit consent. Regarding technical information, understand the importance of privacy and do not store the complete IP address of users. We only retain anonymized version of the IP address in the form of 19268. So this is the private IP that they apparently retain. For privacy reasons, we use this tracking method solely on our website and utilize the Matomo for platform, blah, 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 location data. So again, you've got a privacy policy here. You've got to think about the location data we receive will always have some inaccuracy and will never be exact. We are committed to using the collected information solely for internal purposes and to improve our services. Never sell user data or share PII to third parties without explicit consent. Information we collect in the future will be exclusively used exclusively to provide device sync service and send promotions and news related to our products and services. Let's see. Display advertising. Well, I assure you that advertising that is or will be displayed on products will not be in it invasive and will not be adapted to the interests of users and so they're not doing targeted advertising providing the option so if you know your audience is privacy focused there is some targeting and advertising a company that is looking to advertise through astian can go through understanding that so you can advertise more privacy privacy centered services through astian because that's probably your target audience but anyway or much like oh brave browser i've seen home depot ads in the browser so there's like a couple different options i guess like you'd open the new tab page and you get like an advertisement in brave if you have it enabled Astin shares data with third parties all information shared is done anonymously so if they're using the oh where is it the private IP address. I've seen people mask out their IP addresses when it's when I when it's a private or local IP address basically. It's like, dude, what are we going to do with like an 192.168. whatever IP address because it's not going to pin you down anywhere. It's just one that it gives you so that your router can know to send it to you and then it nats it through its own IP address when it goes out to the wider internet. We don't know what your internet IP address is from this. Anyway, because every router pretty much maps itself to 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.76.1, whatever it happens to be, every time. <laughs> but it doesn't tell us the IP address on the other interface that goes directly out to the internet. But anyway, anyway, anyway. <clears throat> and I'm on this, anonymous information can be shared with third party service providers. We may share anonymous information with third parties, including advertisers and partners. Okay. We mean data that cannot identify an individual user, such as aggregated information about the use of the application, including types of ads with which users interact. What types of ads are popular with our users? That's all we give them, hopefully. So yeah, um, this is who it is. So what's interesting is I was going around and looking around. They do have Midori for Android, which is another Firefox port. They have Midori VPN, Midori V. DNS. So if you go over to the other products, there's Midori OS. So it's it's another Linux privacy Linux distro that's on a live USB, but they don't have a download for it yet, which I'm kind of sad about. Um again, I go let's go back to Midori Desktop. We go to download, we go to Linux, and you can see we can select our cool distro thinger and they've got your debian instructions here you've got open susa tumbleweed that comes up uh cancel that thank you we've got arch linux that comes up 
we can cancel that it's not that big honestly apparently they stripped down firefox or florp firefox to a lot but yeah you've got your arm architecture that are distro agnostic packages in your tarballs here 64-bit they support 32-bit if you still run a 32-bit system in the year of our lord 2024 oh but yeah i i feel it's kind of i i don't know weird to think about Spon let's turn off sponsored stories um we'll turn off recommended by pocket and then <clears throat> turn off shortcuts nah i like shortcuts honestly because what ends up happening is it puts in either recently visited sites or frequently visited sites into here so you have a quick shortcut to it and that's locally stored versus on the internet out wide out there <clears throat> so let's see let's go to privacy and security comes with do 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 so let's see that you've got your sidebar that has been added into the fun stuff recently. Um, ba, ba, ba. So we can go and add in plugins. It doesn't come with it pre-installed, sadly, but you can install plugins pretty easily. Facebook container, hot dang, they've got a container just for Facebook. <laughs> when you when you, your social network is so invasive that people have to like create a container just for it i really think that oh this should be a thing in general for any web browser to do that's focused like this but anyway um <laughs> let's see only set to block known trackers we can do our address bar see we've got all the default search engines it looks like for some reason bing is the default and i don't get why um that's kind of interesting let's set that if you're like really that privacy focused well even astine has their own search engine and they didn't add it here to midori and they are managing midori why would you not do that you claim your search engine is privacy focused but you don't add it anyway um let's see do recent activity we can add that we'll knock that down to one row and then <clears throat> now i don't want that one i like the web search Random images from Unsplash. We can set our own custom background, which I've done in Vivaldi before and all that. The Unsplash back random background is kind of cool because you get different ones and then it doesn't really matter as well. Let's see, here's our thingy, theming thingy. They're, they're, I think they take a lot of like the Firefox stuff. It doesn't look like it's taken too much off of Firefox, being as it's recommending different plugins for us to have anyway. Mm. Ah, yes, the containers. I love containers in Firefox, honestly. It's really cool because I've been able to have separate containers, and then you add on, let's go to our extensions and themes. We will search for group tabs simple group tabs add to firefox and we are done skis containers are enabled and um i believe we can even add browser manager simple tab groups save changes and we should be able to move that up here and see, we can manage all our groups from the sidebar here, just like we could over here anyway. But yeah, pretty cool. I don't like the fact, I, I miss Midori being a WebKit GTK based browser. And now everything has become a fork of either Firefox or Chromium, it feels like just about. 
which is kind of sad to see because you had these unique small browsers that were just there. And now you've got another browser that has fallen to becoming a fork of a fork of Firefox. So these are our wonderful, oh, others that they show comparing against. If we click the compare thing, all they've got is Midori versus Opera. So it's kind of sad they don't compare to Brave or anything else. But yeah. If you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm, boost the video up, share this video with your friends. If you found it informative or you just want to chat, I've got plenty of places in the description. Discord, Gilded, and what have you. Check those out, and I will see you guys in the next one.